as you get into this ambient compute world in which uh, clients become thinner and all the objects become smart, we have to imagine that you're in a world where there is no keyboard, there's no mouse, there's no stylus, there's no screen. So how are you going to interact with it? And so the idea of Jacquard was, could we find a small piece of compute and a small amount of threads that we could give out to the world. Art is the easiest and best way to communicate, you know, really the soul of a human being. And if we have a small part in that, like, that's a huge win for me. C'était bien pour nous d'accueillir cette manifestation qui est effectivement résolument contemporaine, qui permet d'ailleurs de montrer ce qu'on considère souvent comme une matière un peu inanimée, le, le textile, mais de la montrer dans des configurations totalement différentes où le textile devient immersif, tactile, réactif. D'ailleurs, toutes ces trois installations, ces trois créations sont vraiment, je dirais, construites autour de cette capacité qu'auront les visiteurs de pouvoir faire parler ou d'illuminer ou en tout cas de vivre une émotion, une expérience particulière avec ce textile que pourtant souvent on, on imagine comme étant une matière une nouvelle fois très figée ou très formelle. The high level Jacquard is trying to understand how we can take ordinary things, the things we use every day, which were like static and um, kind of normal and make them magical and extraordinary through technology. I believe in free artistic exploration. So um, our work was mostly in supporting the artist. And I think it's too early to say what we've learned. We will learn when we see what they built. So we don't want to have any impact on their thinking and uh, you know, have some sort of influence on what they're thinking. We're really looking forward to reaction from the public. Because again, one of the reasons to work with artists is because we want to understand the impact of this technology on people, people who are going to be using this technology in the future. So the purpose of the residency has always been to push the limits. What are the limits of this incredible technology that has been made by Jacquard, by Google? And at first we thought, let's ask fashion designers to participate and, and give us their point of view on what we can do with this uh, technology. And very quickly we thought, maybe we should address ourselves directly to artists. Artists have no limitations. Usually artists have their own skills, they have their own set, they have their savoir-faire. And what we wanted to do there was to make them evolve into a new era, a new, a new world where possibilities were basically totally, totally unlimited. So we paired the artists with engineers, both from Google Arts and Culture teams and for our team in Jakar, around the world, everywhere, to enable them to do their creative vision without any constraint. The first edition of this artist residency has opened new dialogues, new possibilities, and new poetic territories yet unexplored. Pour une équipe d'ingénieurs, collaborer avec des artistes et des créateurs ouvre l'esprit et contribue à repousser les limites des technologies émergentes telles que Jacquard. Nous pensons que c'est en collaborant avec les institutions culturelles comme le Mobilier National et les artistes en résidence que nous pourrons développer les meilleurs outils et les meilleures technologies pour créer de nouvelles expériences culturelles vivantes et enthousiasmantes. I think too much um, technology causes us to be distracted from our lives. And if there is a way to allow you to be more involved, more involved in your life and just connected, and that one time when you need it, technology, you had it. And the notion that you could weave it, whether that's into a backpack or into a jacket, was wonderful to me. So, you know, we, we, inside sometimes we say, I'd like you to stop looking down and I'd like you to look up more. And I think Jacquard gives us an ability to start to look up 